Hey folks, when we came in here with a brand new episode, let's play X3 Farms Legacy. And we are traveling at 1,237 meters per second. And if you look to your right, oh shit, we just missed it. Um, all right. We're going to go up here, turn east. And sort of see what we can find. That must be the Titan. Military Titan. I'm wondering if it's going to annihilate that uh Rehabilitation Facility M Alpha. One. Um or if it's just gonna ignore it and drive on past. Who knows? Who in the knows? Memorial. Oh look. Slit military Terranodon. That's good. Let's not fly without looking where we're going, shall we? That must be the hostile ore mine, right? Oh no. Ore mine M Alpha. You are talking if left with do you want the job? Okay, it must have been. Is that the one that got hacked? Ah, there's There's the hostile mofo. Right, so if memory serves it's this Xenon yeah. Sector one oh one. So let's have a wee fly around. Because Nothing can catch us. Although we can catch other things like I did a few episodes ago. Entering Xenon Sector 101. Yeah, people are shooting. Well, I say people. Huh. They're big bastards. Let's see what there is. There might be a weapon, like in the other sectors. Um, could be a ship. If it is a ship, I'll not be claiming it. I'll make a note of it. I'll not be claiming it. Because it'll get blown to bits. Simple as. Well, it depends how fast it is. Because I have energy cells in this ship. So I could technically have this jump to the other sector. And then... Optimization. And then just... You know, fly a new ship out myself. Because AI not too bright when it comes to um, dodging. But players, yeah, a bit more capable. Sometimes it's just incredibly difficult to dodge. A lot more difficult than, say, you know, trying to pick up a box. But, um,. Cargo bay now contains right. rudder optimization. So there's the north gate. So where am I in respect to the north gate? I am behind the north gate. Right. That's good too. Oh look. Another pick up a ball. Getting awfully close to them though. Some debris. Ship debris. Looks like Oh, it looks like a Parnid. Mm, I want to say Odysseus. Not too sure with the, the command line. Oh, oh. And that looks like a Kahuna Bakery. So. It would be funny if you hacked a Xenon shipyard and then a Xenon ship or two. So if I can just keep it scanning for hostiles, nearby hostiles, that'll let me know if I start getting too close to one. Because it'll target them and I'll go, oh shit. Engine tuning. Oh yes, sweet. Just what I needed. I'm actually trying to pick this up with the personnel carrier. Or even just an M5, M5 going Stuart miles per hour, or meters per second. Cargo bay now contains engine tuning. Um. Now the question I sort of I'm thinking is, do I want the risk trying to get past them all again? Like, you know what? They're not even there anymore. Maybe they are. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe they are. Hang on a second. Xenon J. Okay. Alright. 
supposed to have to get in order for it to target. Like, is it closer than high I need to be for them to start shooting at me? Because one one blast from a capital gun, I'm by Entering Nopilios's memorial. Anyway, that, that was exciting, wasn't it? Or mine, M Alpha. So, can you hack a station for me? You are talking. Pirate Nova. You are talking. Is there a good time? Do you want the job? You are talking. I want to buy a blueprint for a pirate. Apparently, I do. Didn't mean to buy it. Information for database. But I did. So, Pirate Nova. I can now build a Pirate Nova. Pirate, Pirate Nova. Right, um... The slowest of the three that I can build. When the long-serving Argon Elite was it's got retired, a nice, uh, I can also equip plasma burst generators. So maybe I should just go ahead and build one. Entering Hatikva's faith. Who sectors this? Pirate still. Pirate Buzzard Vanguard. Right, I'm I'm going to I guess parameters. I'm gonna chuck in I'm gonna top it up with you know, Yeah. So I'm gonna build one. Okay, so it's building one now. I'm guessing that's the hostile solar power plant. Yeah. So is there a shipyard in here? A pirate base with You are talking to Right. Okay. Um Pirate Anarchy Port. And he's he's the one selling me the You are talking. What do your baron show you the Buzzard Vanguard? Pirate Buzzard Vanguard. Um I'm gonna jump in and check the trading well the um, systems that I can purchase. Connection to local trading network established. Infrared and IFF guided internal sentry lasers can be fitted in strategic locations. Okay. The hull polarizing device produces a high powered sustained magnetic field on a ship's hull, which can seriously disrupt even the most efficient plasma cutters. Thus protecting against forced hull. So these two are for efficient credits. Protecting from boarding. The hull Let's go with bioscanner. Bioscanner products are not bought. Um Pirate bounty license. After buying this license, pilots are accepted as bounty hunters by stations and factories in pirate territory. Holders of this license are automatically paid for the elimination of enemy ships. Okay, so fair enough. Um, so there is a plasma beam cannon, which might be. A deadly weapon found on frigates. Yeah. It's for capital vessels, sadly. So. Incoming message. Must be. Yeah. I'll leave you for now. 
first I want you to um Yes, I listen one to Alpha. Incoming message. Solar, solar power, solar power, solar power. Am I misreading? Oh, I am misreading. I was reading the uh, the void beta, but I was just reading the beta, so I thought it was, you know, the station he was in rather than the sector he was in. That makes sense now. So we can also go north in that sector. He was talking about Entering allying with Boron. Thought it might be fun just to be a pirate. But I really do need to... Uh, Somewhat focus on. You are talking to the other. Spit it out! I've got you. May see some heavy challenges in this mission. Um, focus on the NMMC reputation and to Laddie. Journal page. I like journal page. Get a thought. And um, that should let me move the station, the headquarters, and those gates that I can build. Um. Because there's one you, uh... Cargo bay now contains journal page. You know the likes of... I'm trying to remember... I... Yeah. Tears of Greed and Tears of Greed Beta. I can build a gate in between. I like they can... Uh, I can then clean that sector. So that's not a bad idea. And then, you know, once I've cleaned the sector, put the player headquarters in it. Or, well, put the player headquarters in it and then claim it. But you need to have. I could claim, claim the Xenon hub because of have the Xenon hub. Entering Aquila's beacon. But generally, you need uh, a trading station in order to claim a sector. Ooh. Otas, police, Euros. Oh, that is cute. That is so cute. The cockpit. Looks a bit small, but then I'm not entirely sure of uh, dimensions of the ship. Argon escort Amon prototype. Amon looks like a um, pirate eclipse. Because you have a standard eclipse, which I personally think just looks awful. Incoming message. And then you've um the Argon Eclipse. Ah, the Argon Eclipse, sorry, and then the Pirate Eclipse. That one looked more like the Pirate Eclipse. I don't understand why they look different. With the same name. Uh, there you go. There you have it. Entering Legends Home. Right, so Utas don't like me. There's a shock. Right, so can I outrun whatever missile they've launched? Probably. Mm -hmm. In a language like that, I should just. Alert, yeah. missile closing. Wasp missile self destructed. There's a shock. So, Otas don't like me. Unclaimed sector alpha to the east. Wasp missile self destructed. Otas docking denied. Docking denied. 
So even there, so are all these? So they must all be Utas stations. Because it's an order. Confirmed enemy. How am I? You know what? I'm not even going to go into that. Um, maybe my reputation with the company just starts off at this per. I have a feeling it did. I, mean, I know some of the... Yeah. Um, Otas, military, one of the most OP destroyers in the game, especially for out of sector combat, because With some sacrifice of shielding and six front, four right, four back, four left, four up, like four down. It's the, to my understanding, at least an X3 turn conflict. It's the entering unclaimed sector alpha. It is the only destroyer that can have capital ship weaponry in every single slot. Most other ones, most other destroyers, can only have them. Um, actually, um, most other destroyers don't get them in the left and the right. It's either the left and the right or the up and the down. But they can't put a couple of weapons there. But the Boreas can. It's also probably the most expensive destroyer. For that exact reason. It's like. Hundred million, hundred million or something. Um, Entering Legends Home. So if we quickly look at the shipyard. Shipyards are the hardest. Ninety-one million. Modern society. So I suppose. Really, this missile closing. Wasp missile. Nope. Thankfully, I was correctly targeting the kit and not the rim. Um, but I suppose we'll go here. So we can go in here. Oh, okay, so it, it tells us what we can do with um, the sector. So we can't trade in here because it's OTAS, confirmed item. But we can trade and get equipment in Alatna here, the uh, Alatna Hill, rather, because it is Arkham. It's an Arkham sector. Alatna Hill. There's a Solano there. I think that's quite Otas, nice as well. Military Solano. Yeah. I quite like the Otas ships, except the Boreas, the, the destroyer we saw in the other sector. While it's incredibly overpowered, especially for out of sector Entering combat. Light of heart. Um I think it's not the nicest looking. Um That's just me. Federal Argon Shipyard. So that's like a super shipyard, is it? Rotan, heavy transport. Guns is armored. Magnetar, oh, they're expensive. Um, so, diplomacy. Can I get... You know what, you can... Get some... Command accepted. Yeah, go do that. And there is Argon Stock Exchange. A stock exchange. What's any what's that? An angel, Other so could be for sale. You are we are it's not, we but it could have been. Like? Right. So there's the south gate. There's one or two wee things floating about here. You are talking spaded grade. You might find things a little I want some passenger transport.
So we will continue space. Entering Montalar. Argon prisoner transport. Okay, let's go see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Um. Quantum processor. Oh yeah, I just want to need more shit to take out my cargo space. Um, because I have so much of that available. Um, yeah. Oh, let, let's quickly. Yes. No. Right. So you can go. Docking granted. There -ish. Quantum processor. 24 of the bastards. Cargo bay now contains quantum processor. Oh, is there is a fueling station here? So we've a uh, defunct. You are talking. Yeah. Welcome to the okay, I won't Please turn in. To spend your discovery points. We can get an incendiary bomb launcher for eighty four thousand. We've nothing to use it on. Or we can spend eight hundred and twenty two thousand on a blueprint for an armored transport. I have almost a one and a half mil. You are talking to the Welcome to the Explorers Guild. Please choose a reward on which to spend your discovery points. See, but by the incendiary bomb launcher, I suspect I need to have a ship docked there in order to, you know, chuck it on. There's a defunct gate. To my memory, that goes to an unknown sector, which in sort of the X3 unwritten rule, or, you know, just accepted logic is it's a sort of sector that the developers put in for players to sort of claim as their own. Um, Entering Rolf's legacy. Because it's very centralized in the entire universe. Like if you look at the whole universe map. That unknown sector is very much center. And yeah. So we're getting some. Discovery. Cargo bay now contains okay. discovery. Um, so we have a get there. Get there and get there. Oh, okay. So there's four gates in, up in this base. So let's get takes us towards Lucky Planets. Not into Lucky Planets, just towards it. Um there's a south gate. East gate I believe takes us towards the Laddy space. Again, this is working on X3 Terran Conflict universe map. Obviously there are some changes in this one. Such as, you know, turning gates off. I would imagine there's some way to sort of turn them back on. Entering Great Trench. So we're just going to skim through here real quick. There's nothing big over there. Royal Boron Research Station. This type of station is credited with making some great discoveries. Okay. Um, so it didn't look like there was a south gate. Even the defunct one that we can Incoming see. Message. And it doesn't look like there's a north one either. What was that?
Um, I don't know what that message said. I'll probably see it in editing. Entering seals down. But I sort of assumed it was going to be your ship is docked. Um... Because it kind of seems odd that... You know, it would suddenly now tell me I found a sector dominated by OTAS. Seals died. Which then takes us towards... You are talking to the... Welcome. Please choose a reward on which to spend your discovery points. You see, I could use that. Advanced Express, maybe. Receiving yeah. upgrade information for database. Oh, that's probably what it was. The HQ. Um, I pirate over there, so it was the HQ uh, production queue is empty. That's what it was. Right. Um, let's see, it was Buxoid. You are talking. Strong arms, military enhanced. Chimera. So we shall continue south, and then I'm going to call the episode there. Maybe I'll even, uh, you know, get another ship. Entering. The game froze here for some reason, but I called the episode there. I was able to get the game back and get it saved, so there's nothing lost. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.